tonight. The Sweet 16 concludes. One last shot to punch their tickets to the quarterfinals. An underdog looks to take down the season one champion. The tournament favorite looks for their third straight knockout. And a wild card flipper looks to take down one of the best in the competition. It's the final night of the round of 16 tonight on Bash Buds. Everybody and welcome back to Bashbots. I am your host, the Dominus Ignis, and tonight the round of 16 concludes. We will set the bracket for our quarterfinals, and only the Elite Eight will remain. The remaining competitors hope to raise this, the giant wrench, and call themselves the Bashbots Season 3 champion. Taking a look at the bracket, we can see the remaining matchups in quadrants 2 and 4. Looking at quad 2, the number 2 seed Amber will face off against the 15 seeded Flipper Tracker to face the winner of Liberator vs Cosmo. In quad 4, Polis will take on Cyberstorm in a battle of the Flippers and in our first fight of the night, Sparks will take on the heavily armoured lifter of Sucker Punch. Let's take a look at how these robots have made it this far. Jagantag and his robot Sparks faced off against Hondatron in the qualifiers and made quick work of the flipper, destroying it and pushing it in the pit. It then moved on to the round of 32 where it slowly dismantled Glacier Free to take a spot in the round of 16. Bandic and Sucker Punch fought Ryukishin in the first fight of the season. After losing the judges' decision, it then went on to win its wildcard rumble against Manticore and Sea Devil. In the round of 32, they demonstrated just how strong that front wedge is, tanking the hits from Ursula for the full three minutes and pulling off the upset by winning the judges' decision. Let's send it down to the damn beaver to break down the fight. I am here to propose a question to you today. What happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object. Well, I can't say for sure, but I can be fairly certain that it will be pretty cool. Case in point, Sparks vs Sucker Punch. Our former champion has been breezing through the competition so far, delivering knockout after knockout to get to the right here and now. Sucker Punch, meanwhile, it's not been slacking, it's been delivering a few shocks itself. If the fight against Ursa taught us anything, it's that Sucker Punch can give as good as it gets, but let's not forget that it's still the 21st seed here. It's undeniably the underdog, but I have a saying with this kind of thing. Seeds are there to be upset. Let's get down to the arena. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? It's robot fighting time! Let's bring out the bots! In the red square from Northern Ireland, it doesn't actually make all that many sparks, it sparks! And out here first, our Season 1 champion sparks. Like we've said before, it feels like they're in their second ever campaign, but this has been much more on form for them. Sucker Punch, they've dealt with this type of opponent before. In the blue square from the USA, it seems to do more judo than actual boxing. It's Sucker Punch! That they have. Ursula has been fallen by Sucker Punch previously, but uh, the 21 seed needs to show that exact defense to a new degree here to beat Sparks. Big plow, big hopes, big dreams. A big challenge though. It will get underway in a few seconds. So next I'm up against Sucker Punch. It's proven to be quite dangerous to horizontal spinners so far. I think it's the toughest front end I've had to face in any season of Bashbox. Um, for that reason, I'm probably 
going to try and avoid targeting the front as much as I can. Try to aim for the wheels or the top supports as if possible. First, definitely a little more threatening than my last opponent. Um, just as far as because it's an undercutter and not an overhead, so it's going to be a little harder to deal with. Um, again, I'm just going to drive into it and stop the spinner, tank it as much as I can, and just prove, show my aggression, my control, and just try to swing a decision. Um, it'd be great to win against a champion like Parks, so uh, I guess we'll see what happens. So Sparks on top form. Sucker Punch we maybe didn't expect to see getting this far, the 21st seed, but now they have the opportunity to really make a statement. versus 21. Sparks versus Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch trying to engage with that big chunky plow and keep it that way very early on here. This isn't too bad, you know. Good start. Sparks has had little glancing blows like that one, but keeping the control is Sucker Punch. That's a nice little charge. Yeah, Sucker Punch trying to keep itself grounded. Oh, that's Unfortunate Sparks went up into the air, dropped back down, and off goes the middle of the three tyres on the left side. Five more to go, so there is a bit of redundancy there, but uh, not exactly promising Ooh. to lose one in the opening period still. Yeah, you might expose yourself to lose a few more of those with misses like that, but this is a bit better. Sparks is upside down to make Sucker Punch that little bit more oh. confident. But now, oh. the bar's so high up, they lost the top of that flipper, and now another two wheels have gone as well. And suddenly, Sucker Punch looking a bit more bare. Oh, they've all oh. gone on the right side. And the flipper flops down from our arena, just as a, in a bow of <laughs> acceptance of that one of its... Uh, inhabitants here might be in trouble. Sucker Punch is stuck under its own wheel for a second there. Yeah, Sparks has said, right, I've taken a few from you. Um, have it back. <laughs> Sorry, Spark Sucker Punch cannot repair itself in the middle of the battle, but they're still pointing that wedge oh. desperately at Sparks. Sparks oh, it's a bit sad. To be sad. Uh, yeah, just a bit. <laughs> um, they're going to park by that hit release button to try and give them any sort of hope. They're at least doing well to move across the arena at all. I will give them that. Yeah, you never know. Sparks has, uh, on the odd occasion, been flung out from absolutely nowhere. And Sucker Punch has a player that could be capable of a weird deflection. It's true, it's not over till it's over, but right now there's even less movement than before from Sucker Punch to keep trying to stay head on. Oh. Another oh. deflection. Sparks just trying to keep things slow and steady enough that it doesn't wildly whir off somewhere. Oof. Another one of those little glances and Sucker Punch again trying to bring its thruster into play, but uh, there's only so much it can really do at this point. Yeah, 30 seconds remaining on the clock. At this point, oh. if you're Sucker Punch, you've kind of got to put yourself in the line of danger you can try and get one of those aggressive deflection angles but it's only happened to them instead they need sparks down that pit and with 20 seconds left to go i'm not sure they can pull this off they're facing the wrong way if they want to get sparks out of the picture unfortunately yeah the front body has shown durability sadly the rest of it has been clipped and chipped away as this fight has progressed the timer is about to end it's been brave but ultimately, that must be Sparks' fight here, surely. <laughs> well, it certainly could have gone better. <laughs> yes, it goes to the judges, but pretty much only on a technicality. It was a good start from Sucker Punch. They had the control, but almost through no effort of their own. They just lost wheel after wheel when they were in moments of opportunity. But that's the way with these big horizontal spinners. They are some of the most frightening weapons you can face in bash bots. And Sucker Punch really felt the pain of it. They truly were Sucker Punched. The judges results are in!
The winner by unanimous decision is... Sparks! And winning by judges' decision, Sparks moves on to the quarterfinals to fight either Polis or Cyberstorm. It's time for the second fight of the night as Amber and Tracker will duke it out for a spot in the next round. Let's take a look at how they made it to this stage of the tournament. Sploodle and his robot Amber have left a trail of destruction behind them thus far in the tournament. In the qualifiers, they destroyed the chassis of Goldeneye, and in the round of 32, they took chunks out of Irod and took off all four wheels. George and Tracker haven't been too shabby themselves, though. So far, Tracker has won by knockout twice, winning by a countout against Silencer and by knocking Dynamite out of the arena in the round of 32. In the red square from England, if you look up try hard in a dictionary, you will find Amber! In the blue square from the USA, it's Tracker! This fight, it's a really good design. Uh, it's a, a new version of an old design that's worked well, so it's going to be a hard one. But it's a flipper and I'm a spinner, so I have unlimited you know, weapon use. He has limited, so I'm just hoping. If you run him out, you know, hopefully you've got the lower wedge, you'll see it. Okay, uh, I'm facing Amber, one of the robots that is most likely to win this event. I'm not excited. Um, my strategy is hopefully flip him out of the arena, and if I'm lucky, maybe I could do my party trick somehow? Probably not. I probably never get to do my party trick this season. RIP. So the modifications here, Tracker adding on those little lips to the top of its wedge to stop Amber from riding up over it, but will that be enough to beat the second seed? battle of two pristine looking machines very nice on the eye but we'll be hoping they won't be that way at the end of this one and it's amber with an aggressive start and goodness me tracker's adventure was nearly cut short in the opening 10 seconds there yes oh but that's a brilliant flip and you know what i think it's time for the clarification expert to come in there if you are flipped into the outer corners, the designated out of the arena zones, then that is instant elimination. You cannot come back from that. But here in these corners that are not designed Ooh. to be an out of the arena zone, yes, you can get stuck behind them, but that's not instant defeat. And that's why Tracker is able to carry on here. But they might be wishing that they were already out. Yeah, it's Amber again with these little clips that are building up and then you just wait for that explosive one that always seems to be delivered by our number two C as Tracker comes in with a cute little attack of its own before another response from Amber. Yes, that wedge is just proving such a difficulty on Amber. They can get under it Ooh. from time to time, but they seem to lose purchase quite a lot. Just get those little flicks. Oh, Ooh. a double flip! <laughs> Tracker has tried to save face in this fight and stay true to itself, and it hasn't sustained any big damages yet. And it has come in with a couple of attacks. However, the number two seed overall, you would imagine, is still on top at this stage. That's another good moment of opportunity. Tracker's slipping in, but the Arena Saws is going to create another opportunity. Oh! That's a good flip. Very cute again from Tracker. We might need more than cute here to override Amber overall in this one, though. Trying to come Great. in on the overturn Tracker there as well. Oh, yeah, but as they lose a wheel, this is looking bad for Tracker, but big respect to them for not going for the immediate self right near that arena wall. They knew their priority. They had to drive out of their inverted and self right where it was safer to do so, and now they're rewarded with another series of flips. Yeah, they really have stuck together in this fight, even with that lost wheel, even with the damaging opponent. Tracker is giving itself a chance here. Flipped by the, the floor flipper. 
Yeah, you can see there is a clear example. The amber, oh, just for a second, just needed to wait and use its actual stream it because the little spinner. Oh, oh, oh my word! Oh no! <laughs> uh, well, that was sudden. That was brutal. That was quite sad, to be honest. Amber the winner. Oh, you couldn't track it. Wait. Here was the set of opponents going at each other during the main exchanges of the fight. This was seeming like, had it gone to the judges, it would have been relatively close. Yes, I do think Amber would have had the upper hand. They had all those 12 wheels intact, while uh, Tracker had certainly lost one, but then they just lost them all, alongside everything else. And once again, winning by knockout, the tournament favourite Amber moves on to the next round and we say goodbye to Tracker. It's time for the third fight of the night as a battle between two American robots, Cosmo and Liberator, takes place in the Bash Box. Let's take a look at how they ended up here. Cosmo faced off against Sea Devil in the qualifiers and made quick work of the full body spinner, ripping off the stream at Pole and flipping them out of the arena. They then faced Hospice in the round of 32, and after a scary 30 seconds of being held up in the air, destroyed the chassis of Hospice and moved on to the next round. Liberator fought Manticore in the qualifying round and quickly destroyed the spinner. They then fought another Vert in the form of Arachnid before ripping off most of the wheels and winning a judge's decision. In the red square from the USA! Americans only like spinners, so this is the only robot for them! It's Liberator! In the blue square from the USA! It's bad. It's Cosmo! I'm gonna try to do what we've been doing all season, spinning up, knock the wheels off, and get around that big old wedge he's got in front, and move on to the next round. Well, yeah, just like any full body spinner, it's sort of just attack in the direction of the blade and break it pieces and get it out of the arena. With my 10 lems on my motors. Well, Liberator the highest seed here off the back of that strong qualifying round, but Cosmo has perhaps impressed more in the round of 32. This should be interesting. Another round of 16 fight underway. 7 and 10 this time around. Oh. It should be interesting. <gasps> oh no! Um, well. well, it was for all of about 10 seconds, but it's over! Commentator's curse there. Sorry, lads. Uh, Cosmo, the winner. Brutal, quick, over and out. <laughs> oh, well, that was bad. bad. <laughs> Oh my god. This again, here's the replay. It's the whole fight. Liberator, they were our higher seed. They came in, they got touched once, and they left. Over there, I'll turn um, the camera angle, lad. Sorry. That's all we've got. Can we uh, send you to an ad break? Maybe an extra long one here? This was uh, over. <laughs> And winning by the quickest knockout in Bashbot's history at 11 seconds, Business Cat and Cosmo dominantly move on to the next round to fight Amber. Before the final fight of the night, we're going to take a quick look at how you can get involved in Bashbots. Have you got what it takes to compete in Bashbots? If you can prove it, you can find yourself inside the Bashbox with the game's most legendary combat robots. Here's what you need to do. Join the Discord and read the rules. Design an epic robot that kicks butt, looks great, and is completely original. We can even help you get started. Join the link in the description and join the growing community of the video game world's greatest robot combat game. You could be the next champion. Or not. Either way, it's gonna be fun. 
Welcome back to Batch Box. It's time for the final fight of the night as the number four seed Polis and the 20 seed Cyberstorm will battle it out for the chance to face Sparks in the quarterfinals. Let's have a look at how these robots made it to this stage. Polis fought Waluigi Hat in the qualifying round and made quick work of the spinner, getting it stuck on the drums before being counted out. It then moved on to face Jade in the round of 32 where in similar fashion it got its opponent stuck before being counted out. Cyberstorm faced off against Arachnid and lost the fight due to the flipper sticking open. It then went on to win its rumble getting an out of the arena in the process and then pulled off an upset against fan favourite Panther in the round of 32, flipping it out too. Let's send it down to the Dan Beaver to break down the final fight of the round of 16. Now if anything was going to be a good display of driving, this is probably it. Our reigning champion POTUS is running fresh of back-to-back -back KOs and it's looking completely unstoppable during the bracket right now. But this could change at any moment and Cyberstorm could be the one to make history. By no means the rookie builder, Cool Speed Bot, who you may remember from Data Flow and Corruption in the past, seems to be a bit of a misstep as it lost its qualifying round fight only to bounce back from the wildcard rumbles and take out Panther to gain a spot in the top 16. As neither robot has much in the way of especially destructive weaponry as I alluded to at the start, this match will be decided by driving. This is going to be a close one and I can't wait to see it. Let's get down to the arena. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? It's robot fighting time! Let's bring out the bots! In the Red Square from Ireland! Nobody said this show was fair! It's Polis! And out comes the reigning champion once again. Polis, they've not had the most terrifying opponents on the way here, but they've seemed nigh on unstoppable in every encounter they've had. Yet to be truly tested, maybe Cyberstorm can do that for us. In the Blue Square from England! If we get our files stolen again, it's because we were hit with a Cyberstorm! And here is Cyberstorm, that big chunky machine with the chunky flipper too. It's another one of these machines that uh, lost in the qualifying round, but then came through the wildcard rumbles. Now it has the champion, the number four seed, somehow. And can it win? Cyberstorm and Polis, here we go. I haven't fought a flipper before, so this could be a new experience. I think it might, in the end, come down to who can conserve the flips. The person who runs out first will be in some big trouble, so we'll see how it goes. Possibly the worst lineup I could possibly have, I'm up against the current champion. Uh, it's going to just become a game of who's got the better wedge and who can get the other out of the arena the quickest. A battle between two flippers, we had a lot of those in the early stages of the tournament, but now a rare treat here in the top 16. Who can win it, the champion or the underdog? One more quarterfinal spot is available. Oh my goodness me, and the champion, it was ruthless getting to this stage, and that was just as impressive a start in this one here. Brilliant bonus. Not so much there, but you know what? We've always talked about that weapon on Polis and just how strong it is, how much knockout power there is. We never talk about how quick it is on that six-wheel drive, but they're so maneuverable. Cyberstorm just can't keep up right now. The storm certainly has a thrust of its own available, but will it ever really get a pure chance to use it again? There you go, it's a fast fire itself, but it's landed on Polis there and has been flung towards the screws. And still in the screws by the looks of it, they just make it out. They're occasionally managed to, managing to outwedge oh. Polis, but Polis is quicker on the trigger. They're more responsive oh. and they're getting those flips every single time. The second that launcher kicks underneath Polis, just sends it a flying Cyberstorm again. It gets part of Polis in position, but the rest of it kind of just awkwardly hangs down and it can't get a clean enough flip in. 
And on the other hand, it goes flying. Cyberstorm absolutely stargazing out here. Flying through the air. The Cyberstorm is um, just trying its best to get under that front of Polis, but they're only getting the chance at the front. They've never made it to the sides of Polis because the opponent just too quick. Oh, and another one shot up with the cameras in the arena. Can't keep up with all this flipping and flying action from Polis. There's another one. Oh, no jam between the screws. This will turn it back out. The Cyberstorm here is being chewed about the place just managed to flip themselves out. It's an explosive re-entry. They've spent probably more time in the air than on the ground in this fight, but they have had their occasional little flip, and that could have been another one, but once again, Cyberstorm just a little bit slow on the trigger. Yeah, Polis once again just reasserts itself whenever there's just a momentary lapse of concentration. And again, Cyberstorm has misjudged that one. Polis lines it up and swings over. And as we enter the closing period of this fight, we will need something incredibly dramatic from our blue and black machine. Oh! Well, it's absolutely Polis truly demonstrating why it's the Ooh, well, best okay. robot in the competition. Well, uh, suddenly Cyberstorm oh! wants to make oh! that so as they get Polis over the wall, but it comes back in. A moment of relief for our champion who was suddenly endangered. But now it looks like this will go to the judges, but we sure had a late panic. Well, another good little flip there as well from Cyberstorm. It was a good closing period, but surely that was too much to surpass overall. My god. Oh my god, I lost it three minutes with Polis! So here in this highlight reel, we're certainly going to see more from Polis than we did from Cyberstorm, but full credit to them for taking the champion on, actually landing some attacks, nearly getting a kill shot towards the end. But Polis was so decisive with every single flip it had. Unbelievable power, so much control, so much speed. That was the moment of danger, but they just sprung back out and may have taken this decision. The judges' results are in! The winner by unanimous decision is... Polis! And winning by a judge's decision, Polis secures their place in the quarterfinals and we will get the rematch that we have been hoping for, as Polis and Sparks will battle it out next episode for a spot in the semi-finals. Tonight we fill the remaining four spots in the next round. Sparks, Amber, Cosmo and Polis have all moved on while Sucker Punch, Tracker, Liberator and Cyberstorm will all be going home. That's all from us tonight here at Flashbots, and we thank you so much for watching. Join us next time for the quarterfinals, but until next time, good night. Next time on Bashbots, it's the quarterfinals. All eight remaining robots step into the box. A rivalry years in the making is settled. And a clash of the kings between the two Bashbox champions. It's all coming up next time on Bashbox. Oh!